Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, I wanted to kind of make a bit of a chatty sort of video just to, to talk about a few things um, as I look through the Green Wish Tarot, which has um, come back into my life after years of not having it. Um, I did have it back in the day when the boxes weren't as nice. <laughs> they were those flimsier uh, Llewellyn boxes. And um, yeah, I, I know a lot of you have, have seen this already. I, I wanted to get this specifically because of the fact that it's um, more of a nature earth-based um, following um, more of the, the will of the year and all the, the mythos of um, the god and the goddess. And I just, I thought it would be really nice to kind of have that again and have that beautiful energy again in my life um so i was really really happy to see this again and that kind of leads me into what i wanted to talk about as we admire these lovely backs um i've found myself sort of um wanting to bring how do i say this decks that have been on the market for a while or quote unquote older decks um back into my collection rather than bring new ones in. I, for some reason, find that decks that I've had prior are calling to me again, just like this one. Um, and I think maybe it was because there was initially that connection and, you know, it was there, but the timing wasn't right. And I now I'm kind of in a different phase of my life. And I am, well, my collection certainly is not as large as it used to be. Um, my autistic brain loves to have things in categories. So I, <laughs> if I ever do a deck collection video, I'll probably go by category um, just so you can see how I kind of what each deck does, because each deck does serve a purpose, sort of, um, and it has a, it has a certain place and it needs to be there for a certain reason. Otherwise, um, I I can't really effectively work with it at this time in my life. So, I've um, I've been very open about my um, well things that I've I've dealt with in the past, uh, the CPTSD, and um, of course the uh, autism diagnosis earlier this year, which shed some more light on, on things for me. And so I am actively working now with a therapist to, well, I've actually managed to stick with this therapist this time, um, to, uh, address trauma, childhood trauma. And I did kind of, I made a video about using the Chicoli, uh, tarot and Oracle to work with childhood trauma. And I'm kind of continuing that theme. Um, I do have a couple of more decks on their way and I'll share those with you when I get them and discuss more about those decks and their place. Um, but I'm sort of trying to address points in my life. Um, and well, we can't technically rewrite history, but we can sort of pull out those points and look at them from a different angle, maybe. Um, for instance, this deck, I see it as a sort of loving, earthy um, family, community vibe, um, you know, a place where I could live. Um, I, I talk about decks as like stories I would like to step into. This is, this is a, a story I would love to step into. Um, because I didn't have that growing up. I didn't have, you know, the, sort of this, the supportive, um, loving community around me. I think if I did things would have, wouldn't have gone the way they did, um, or gone as long as they did. Um, I know I'm being a little cryptic here. I don't want to bore anyone or upset anyone with details, but, um, yeah, trauma is, is heavy. Um, it's something that a lot of us do carry. Uh, a lot of us carry it without knowing it and it does manifest itself, um, in different areas of our lives. And I've noticed that, um, I'm sort of trying to make healthier connections now and, uh, look at things differently now that I am in a safe place and I am supported and I'm able to sort of 
go through this messy process because it can be difficult. Um, and I will always continue to be open, of course, about it because I feel like it's, it's so important that we talk about these things, that we normalize it. If you struggled as a child, if you were, um, you know, hurt, harmed in any way as a child, it absolutely is not your fault. Um, and it is, it is those who did the harming who should be ashamed, not, not the child, not the one who survived it. So, um, I really, really want to make a point of that. Um, so you're seeing young people in cards as well. It, for me, it does, it, it helps to sort of solidify, uh, possibility and and what's not not even so much what could have been because I have children of my own now um although they're a bit older um I I know that I I was able to to give them what I did not have and in that I feel um a huge sense of of healing in and of itself but I hope I'm making sense <laughs> I really do but um so this this particular deck was something that, you know, when I saw it again, I, I really did feel um, a deep connection. It felt like such a, a, a loving, nurturing deck. Um, one that's, you know, even in darker times or periods, you can sort of rely on, on whoever's around you and you know, have that sort of support. You're supported by, you know, the people around you and also, you know, by nature, by the universe. And that is a very, very comforting thought. So um, it's something that I like to sort of uh, revisit and look at and um, remind myself of really. So, um, and I, I also have to say that I find myself wanting to reconnect with these older decks. I don't, I don't, feel connections for some reason with the newer things. Um, I'm not quite sure why, and I don't know how to explain that exactly. Um, I feel like something has shifted collectively almost. Like, um, you know, obviously with exceptions, I can't say this across the board, but just things that I have come across, um, you know, creations that have sort of made their way um, into, our, into our world, it's just, it, it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel like it It sits with me personally anyway. So, you know, um, I joke about <laughs> not backing any Kickstarters um, because the one Kickstarter I did back, I never got my tech. <laughs> That's another story. Um, but I don't know. I just, I feel like, you know, maybe when, when this was made, for instance, I do believe it was 2015. Let me double check that because um, now I'm curious. Yeah, 2015. It's 2015. Um, and then there was another printing in 2020, but the initial printing was 2015. I don't know. I just feel like things have, have changed a lot. Um, I know things can change in, well, look at our world. Things have turned upside down in almost two years. I don't even recognize it anymore, but um, yeah, and I just, I just feel like I need to kind of hold on to the energy that I know and the energy that, that comforts me the best. And, um, I think that serves me best. So I, I know not everyone feels this way, of course, and I totally understand that. But for me, this is just kind of how I feel. Um, and that's why I've sort of been bringing decks back like the Deviant Moon, for instance, um, bringing that back into my life, I just immediately felt connected to it. Like it was like an old friend, a creepy old friend, but an old friend. <laughs> um, and then seeing this again, as I, I was looking at it earlier, earlier today, when I received it, I, I just immediately felt such warmth and, and comfort from it. So, um, yeah, I just, I just kind of wanted to, to share a few things with you all. And I hope, hope my rambling wasn't too, I don't know, annoying and incoherent. It's kind of a stream of consciousness. I was, I was trying to be organized with my thoughts, but I just kind of blurted things out. Look how sweet that is. So yeah, it is. It is just. Oh, I don't know what to say. Um, this deck is just really, really lovely. I'm so, so happy to see it again. 
I'm I'm so happy that I'm I'm able to have it again. I'm just really grateful for that. So yeah. As we finish this off. I know a lot of you have seen this. I just wanted to flip through it again here. <laughs> and that's that. Okay. Um that's it, really. Well, I didn't go for as long as I thought I would. I thought this would be far more rambly and, and long, but um, thankfully it wasn't. <laughs> so I I would like to make um, some more videos really soon. I have a few things in mind that I'd like to do and to share. And um, yes, I, I appreciate um, any comments and uh your likes if you want to subscribe that would be amazing um please do talk to me in the comment section i do i do enjoy that sometimes it takes me a while to get back to to people but forgive me i i do eventually do it um so thank you so much for watching and for being with me today so i will talk to you soon bye